Kaboom. Hey, everybody, this is Justin Case of American Newscape. <laughs> Joining our friend and media personality, Jerry Maldonado, back for another installment hey. of American Mentoring. Hello, Jerry. Welcome back. Hey, there. And <laughs> I'm still laughing at the pre-show talk we had. So don't, don't, for, for, our, for our friends out there, Mr. Mr. Justin had a little cold, so he was down. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear the news, Mr. No, no not at all. Not at all. And, and for those that think they missed something in the pre, pre-show pre chat, you really didn't. Uh, it's just how Jerry and I entertain ourselves. Okay, Jerry. Jerry. We have a task at yes, hand. Sir. We have a task at Indeed. hand. And that task is new chapters. Jerry, what's happening with new chapters? New chapter. Uh, God, I'm a veteran at this stuff, man. I, I, I've experienced so many new chapters in my life. But as you pointed out earlier, it, it's a great it's a great metaphor to, to run the show on tonight because every day is a new chapter. Absolutely. And we and a lot of us seem to get mired in this life of a continuous, the same routine every day. A new chapter is actually a new day. A new day is your canvas that you paint on with your words, your actions, your thoughts, most importantly. And that's basically where it all starts. A new chapter for me, what helped me in my many demises that I leading up to where I am today was learning to, to rethink the process because the, the chapter starts in thought. And if you can concur with that, what do you think? No, I think it really does. And, uh, and it doesn't, you know, you talk about failures, but it doesn't have to be about failures necessarily. Mm. It could be anything, yeah, indeed. And, and you, on my, for, for my, for my humble opinion, and what I've been through, and in a lot of ways, the the, the new chapter came um, quite harsh, uh, harshly, if that's a word to, to put in that sense. And and when I realized I was bringing upon these these chapters in my life where I didn't want it to be, I realized, wow, I created the bad one. Now I can think and create a new one. And it really helped me in a lot of ways to to understand who I really am as a person. And when you start to realize who you are as a person, you end up getting the confidence to create these amazing chapters, not just when they happen, but even before they happen. The first minute you wake up in the morning, you start that chapter in thought. And whatever, like, like I do with my journaling every day, and we've, we've noted here on, on your channel, is that starts the process. So whatever chapter you want to start, start articulating that in your thoughts, your words, your deeds every single day. Does that make sense? Well, it does. And you know, there's lots of things in our language and I don't know the origins of lots of them, but it's, it's like, uh, you know, pulling up your bootstraps, you know, get your boots on and get going, get going. And, that, yeah. and that's all about what you're talking about. You know, today's a new, new, uh, charge off into the, the beautiful sunrise of the morning and see what the day's going to hold for you. Yeah, a lot of us, a lot of us drag out yesterday into tomorrow, and and our thoughts precede uh, the realities that we create. And when I realized that a long time ago, I started to realize you better go to bed with a better mentality and wake up with that mentality because that's going to be the anchor, the psychological anchor to your day. And we we've all experienced it. I've experienced that you wake up from the night before and you're still feeling the effects of it. That's called a hangover. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm talking about a mental hangover. Right. from what you're thinking about every single day so if you can anchor and articulate some awesome goals in your life that new chapter is not going to be so new it's going to feel normal and it's going to manifest in the awesome ways man you know i wonder if it's let's not wake up yesterday let's wake up in the moment mm, yeah and that that that's the hardest thing for me including myself and believe me i i love practicing this every day is living in the present that that's why they call it a gift in, in so many ways, well, when you realize who you are as a person and how, how grateful and gifted you are to create the most beautiful things, the new, new chapters aren't even new. It's just your way of thinking, your way of feeling, therefore your way of creating in this awesome life, man. Well, it is. And you know that it's, uh, you know, I've never been that cup half full guy or that uh, cup half empty guy. I've always been just there, you know, let's, let's, let's enjoy let's savor the moment and uh, and I, and I think that there's an excitement about the next chapter or if you want to say the new yeah. chapter but uh, I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring but I'm looking forward to it yeah you've always lifted me up that way throughout our course of uh, um, the decade or so we've known each other you've always had this 
optimistic view, no matter the circumstances. And you've taught me a lot when it comes to something like that, even even in our, how should we say, the time that we didn't talk, because when I was going through whatever I was going through in life, it, it always I always remember the words you always told me. It's like, you don't have to have it. You just got to be it, you know, in, in the most amazing way. And that was a long time ago. And when you used to when you used to critique my writing, when you used, used to feature my columns, you inspired you inspired me in so many ways by by mentioning that as well as living in the present. And that taught me a lot. It taught me a lot about life because when you start dragging out the day before, you start reliving that and you start creating that. And it, it's a daily practice. And unless you want to create a chapter that you don't where you don't want to be, it's just it's so imperative that you start acting in the moment how you want your life to be because from there you're going to manifest more of that that makes sense well it does and <clears throat> you know most people don't realize for me living in the present is the easiest path you know i you're right i i, I don't have to worry about yesterday because it, you know it it's it's in the rear view mirror and i have enough yeah. to do dealing with today dealing with this chapter that's going to come come before me whether i want it to or not great point great point you bring up a great point it's what what's on your plate man that's awesome whatever's on your plate that's keeping you focused on where you want to go that's that's probably the the best recipe along with you know doing this show and, and you helping me and i'm helping you i'm doing my lives and my quotes and my reels it's that setting up of, of life that you want and just keep doing that every day it'll keep you away from yesterday it's a great mental deterrent per se but it's also it, it's a great goal setting achievement upon yourself to keep yourself moving forward by living in the present in your goals where you want to go have be and do on a constant basis because you can only create from there you're not living back on yesterday man so that was a great point to bring up great well, you know, you and I both grew up with the story of the little engine that can. I think I can. I think I can. Hmm. And, no, absolutely. You know, and, and, you know, we, we had a lot of those life lessons as little kids. You know, the bear that went over the mountain. And, I, and if, we, if we think back about it, it was all about grounding us. Yeah. Each step. Each step. If you, if you allow life to scare you, it's going to put you in a box. And it's great because, you know, you and I are, are old school, humbly. Thank you very much. <laughs> but we, we were taught you got to figure it out. Yep. Not, yep. It not, you you got you to gotta make your own path and stop following others. And that, that's the hard thing. Conformity is, is hard. Conformity is, is, is what society is. A lot of it is today with social media, everybody's the validation. I get it. You know, that whole thing. But when you, when you start carving your own path, like you mentioned with your daily activities, I mean, that to me is, is the, and I didn't realize I was doing that. So you mentioned like, oh my God, he's right. <laughs> it's just carving, it's carving that path every single day, one little pebble. And you, you'll, you'll start moving that mountain, man, as, as faith of, as, as a mustard seed. I mean, little by little by little each day. And the more you immerse yourself in where you want to, what you want to have, be, and do, the more you're gonna, the more you're gonna create from that. And so, yeah, you inspired me tonight. Well, you don't need me, man. I'm gonna step away from the camera. It's gonna be your show tonight. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, most people, most people don't realize that Jerry and I didn't receive participation awards. No, and, and I don't. Th I. And I don't think it was important. I really don't. I don't think it was important to us. I think we resented the people that beat us and got the snow cones after the the little league game, and we sat there as losers. But uh, yeah, but it, it was part but of there's life. There's nothing wrong with that. No, exactly. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with that. You know, nothing wrong with envy if it if it's in a if it's on a positive level because it makes you better. You know, and people think, oh, don't envy. No, no, it's okay. Competition's okay. It makes you stronger. It makes you better. It gives you wisdom. We, we, you don't get these awards for coming in 14th place anymore. It shouldn't be that way. You gotta. You, this is what puts people in a box because they're going to be afraid to be themselves. And it's great because you can't start a new chapter being the old person. And you, you got to learn to get out there and put yourself out there. Yeah, it's going to hurt. I, I've been doing this, God, 12, 15, 16 years. And you, I'm still learning every day, but I got to put myself out there. I got to have an itinerary of what I'm going to do every day. And it, it, like, like you had mentioned with that, and it's, it's awesome because 
you can only create from that. And this is what people got to realize. You don't got to compete anymore and, and anymore with life. You just got to create life. Growing up, we learned all these lessons and we learned all these things about competing and trying to get better, which is great. It's just great. It, it's a great sign of wisdom. But when, when you start using it against you in participation awards, you just put the people back into a box. They're afraid they're going to beat themselves. Does that make sense? Well, it does. You know, it, it's almost like, uh, you know, they were setting us up for mediocrity and, uh, Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. When I went went to, as I remember, Jerry, and this was back when you know they were getting rid of the dinosaurs on the Great Plains. <laughs> but when I went to kindergarten, there were two grades: there was satisfactory and unsatisfactory. Now, what yeah. is that? Yeah. How could I get an unsatisfactory in that time? But lo and behold, mm -hmm. I did. I did. I was sometimes not. Sometimes the truth hurts. Yeah, I sometimes know. Sometimes the. It's true. Well, no, but, but, it, but it, it's a, you're right. It's a good thing, though, because it made you think. You know, that's the point where, where people are, are not allowed to think anymore. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying everybody in general, but they're making it so easy. Entitlements and this and give you that. We're, 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 we, have a, we have a gift. We have ourselves. We have a mind. We have a creative mind. That frontal lobe, that 10% meatball that we're supposed to use every day. We're, they're telling us, oh, don't worry, we'll take care of you. No. No, you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta carve your own path, or you're never gonna be fulfilled in whatever you do. You gotta take the ups, you gotta take the downs. If you got a great support team, or you got books to read, or knowledge to endure about getting over the hump per se, it's gonna help you tremendously. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, in, in my warped perspective, you know, one of my favorite, it's, it's not necessarily a quote, but it's a comment. When people say things aren't fair, fair is where pigs go to get judged for blue ribbons. <laughs> only you, only you. But I, I utmost respect though, because you, you, your background is athletics and so forth, highly competitive. I mean, highly competitive in whatever you were doing. You, you took physical lumps. I took mental lumps, man. I didn't, I didn't have to worry about that stuff there. But at the same time, it was a great experience. And I stayed out of fairs. I'm not a fair guy, man. The, the pigs kind of irritate my skin. But at the same time, oh. you, you, you bring up a great point about the participation awards that, that even my kids, I wouldn't allow it. I'm like, guys, you gotta, you gotta get out there. You, you gotta work. I don't care how many trophies you got. It's, it's, it's what you know about yourself, which is most important, man. Well, it's a gift to be able to participate. And I, I think it should have stayed there. It really should have. Mm. Uh, and, and I think when we were kids, Jerry, that's how we felt about it. Uh, I think we wanted to win the game when we were seven years old, but it wasn't what we got up in the morning to do. I mean, it was just, it's mm. what we did. It's how we lived. It's what that day, it was what that chapter of that day was going to be to us. Bingo. Bingo. You faced it. You faced it. You, you, you faced a mental monster. They had this training, I, I think, in the one of the ranks of the, um, I think it's the Marines, where they literally drop you in the middle of a forest. They don't tell you where you are. You got to figure out how to get out. And they call it the mental monster. And well, once you get past that mental monster of insecurity about yourself and whatever you're trying to do in life or have, and it, it's a daily practice. It's living in the present and keeping yourself busy with your goals and, and moving forward every single day. It's a simple pep talk that you give to yourself every day. And I, I love the fact that when you have so many things that you, you have on your plate, there's nothing wrong with having your, your plate full. You just yeah. keep feeding it whatever you want to do every day. And you can't lose at this game. You really can't. You know, as long as you understand what you want and you know what you want, you're going to you're going to manifest it. It's going to take time. Yeah, you're going to take lumps, and but you don't have to worry because you're going to do it on your own. Well, I, I totally agree with you, Jerry. And, and why don't you why don't you leave us with a final thought or two? Oh, it, it's Jerry. It's Jerry's time, man. It's Jerry's yeah, time. It's, hold on. Everybody. Every day. <laughs> I love this show, man. Every day I wake up, every day I wake up knowing that I'm blessed with another day, that simple attitude of gratitude. And when you start articulating that in words and whatever you're doing every day in thoughts and your deeds, life will not deny you. It's you that deny life. 
And when you get past what has happened to you, to what you can make happen for you, life gets a lot more fun, man. It was awesome. Well, it was awesome, and uh, I think we could. I think we should revisit this topic one more time. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. And I it's think it, a, it's important. It's very important because because people sadly are living where they've been instead of where they want to go. You 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 and I live every day where we want to go. And it's a great, it takes away the fear factor per se, because we just do it. We just do what we, what we love to do. And when people find what they love to do, all they can do is create more of what they love to do. Well, absolutely. And I do know, I know you well enough, Jerry, tomorrow's an opportunity. And yes. may, maybe the fact that our plates are so full, it, it's, we only can move forward. It's always expanding. You know, China built the wall to try to try to save its heritage when it truly just blocked the people in. Don't block yourself in, man. Don't block yourself in. Understand who you are, where you're going. Life's going to respond to that. You can't lose, Meatball. You can't. It's not going to happen, man. All righty. Hey, everybody. This has been Justin Case and Jerry Maldonado bringing you American Mentoring. Thanks for joining us. Remember, additional information and links are provided in this video. Read more. Today is the day to subscribe to this channel. Find your next chapter and please learn more about Jerry Maldonado.